I want to talk to you seriously about, about Bret Hart, and we've heard his side of the story. Next week, we'll hear from Vince McMahon and his side of the story. Um, you guys are very close friends with Shawn Michaels. Mm -hmm. uh, what was his role in all of that? Now, Bret says that Shawn knew what was going on. Did he know what was going down? I mean, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't tell you what was in Shawn Michaels' head because I'm not Shawn Michaels, but do, do I think that Shawn Michaels knew what was going on? No. Um, we all, I mean, uh, if, if he did, uh, I saw no indication of it. I mean, I, I knew what we were going in there to do. Um, that's what I was planning on doing. And if it, I mean, it seemed as much surprise to him when it happened as it did to, to Bret Hart, as it did to everybody else that was watching it. I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I. True or false? Shawn Michaels was crying in the locker room afterwards. Bret Hart said he was crying. He was afraid that Bret would kick his butt. Uh, true, but I don't think it was afraid because Brett would kick his butt because uh, no, and this is of no no offense to Brett, but the, the first time those two got in a fight, it was a pinch fight. I mean, it was who was going to pinch the other harder, who was going to pull his hair out. I mean, uh, I, I got the story from Davey who was there, and I mean, Brett couldn't have thrown a weaker punch. So, I mean, uh, I, I don't think a, a, he was crying because he was afraid Brett was going to beat him up. I think he was crying because of the implications of what had just happened. You know, uh, that's a, when you don't know uh, something like that is going to go down, and then it does, and then you're sitting in the back, and nobody knows what's going on. That's a, that's a, that's a that's a pretty heavy uh, thing in our business. That's uh, that's that's heavy espionage stuff, you know. There's some real dislike right between those two, Michaels and Bret Hart. I mean, yeah. it's difficult for the viewer and the fan to understand because one of the things you do is you sell an act. But sometimes it's not an act, right? And that was the case there. And it's not an act. You guys don't like Bret Hart much, right? Um, I don't. I've never had a problem with Bret as far as uh, person personality-wise goes. I've gotten along with Bret fine um, outside of the ring and, and outside of our business. I've never had a problem with him. Um, the the problems that I did have with Bret, if if you're going to ask me if I agree with what happened at the Molson Center, thousand percent. I back Vince on that thousand percent because uh, what he was going to do was wrong. What Bret Hart was going to do was wrong. His Canadian legend status wouldn't allow him to do what was right for a company and a business that did what was right to him for what was he going to do that you're referring to? Years. You're referring. You're saying what he was going to do was wrong. What he, was he, it? He he would not step away from the WWF. Um, and, and, and put Shawn Michaels and, and put the WWF over and put them into the spot they needed to be in. Um, what he wanted to do was walk out on TV and hand over the belt and say, I'm going to WCW. You can't do that. You can't do that. Doc, you're impartial somewhat. I mean, you work for WWF, but um, where do you stand? I think the whole situation kind of reminded me of the Bad Company song, Good Love and Gone Bad. Um, it's, it's really, you know, bad when Vince and Brett had such a relationship and because of how uh, the sport has really escalated into the entertainment field and uh, money and I guess ethics are, money's in, ethics are out. But bottom line is that if you were Vince McMahon, and I think the more time separates the event from when it happened, you see why he did. Supposedly, Brett was going to show up the next night on Nitro with the belt. Whether Bret Hart would have ever done that or not, I don't know, we'll never know but that would have been very detrimental to the World Wrestling Federation, and that's not the way Bret Hart was raised in this traditional business. Well, there's a lot we can... I'm sorry, to me, just so I can give one more point, is, is uh, when, when I got here, I heard all the stories about the problems that Bret had with Hulk, with, with Hogan, when Hogan left, that uh, Hogan wouldn't do business with Bret, and uh, this was before Hogan left, obviously, that Hogan wouldn't do business with Bret, Bret wasn't on his level, and, and Hulk was this big star, and Bret was nothing, and, uh, and Bret hated him for that, um, because he wouldn't do business. When it was his time to pass the torch, he wouldn't pass the torch. Well, when it was Bret's time to pass the torch, he wouldn't pass the torch either. So, shame on him, too. He said he was gonna do it in Ottawa a couple of days later. But, I mean, uh, they asked him to do it then, and he wouldn't. And whether he would have done it or not, what, what we're hearing is that he wouldn't have. Well, we'll hear from Vince McMahon later uh, next week.